Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we're discussing the Beatitudes, and this time, the second of them. Blessed are the meek, for they shall possess the land. Matthew 5, 4. Meekness is essentially the same thing as humility, so in order to better understand what this beatitude is saying, it helps to know what humility is. Way back in episode 72, we dealt with this subject in detail by explaining that pride, the opposite of humility, is not merely satisfaction, happiness, personal dignity, etc. By this method, we can determine that humility is not any of the following things. Humility is not dissatisfaction, sadness, lack of personal dignity, lack of respect for oneself or for others. It is not bad manners or low standards of social conduct. It is not moral deficiency or a lack of concern for morals. It is not a lack of self-confidence or of confidence in your beliefs or views. Humility is none of these things. What it is is a proper understanding of your own worth, and that means two things. First, it means that we willingly accept that God is in charge and choose to obey Him rather than reject Him or rebel against Him. Our very limited worth compared to the unlimited worth of God is the reason for this. Second, it means that we don't elevate ourselves over others in our actions or our thoughts. This is because we recognize that humans all have the same moral worth given to them by God. Some may have additional benefits or advantageous titles, for example, becoming children of God when they're baptized, but that's not the same thing as having greater value as a human being. If we recognize that others have the same value that we do, we won't be in such a hurry to demand unfair portions of resources, rights, services, respect, etc., nor will we be so eager to deny fair portions to others out of selfishness. Now, the reason why I think that poor in spirit may refer to humility or something like it is because the promises given to each of these beatitudes are so similar. The last beatitude promised the kingdom of heaven to those who were poor in spirit, and this one promises the land to the meek. It seems very unlikely that Jesus was referring only to real estate when he said this. It's much more likely that the term the land refers to the kingdom of heaven after the resurrection, since it would be difficult to call it land in the literal sense until that point, the time of the new heavens and the new earth. This promise of the land to the meek is also a reference to Psalm 36. But the meek shall inherit the land, and shall delight in abundance of peace. Psalm 36, 11. Next time, why would we be asked to mourn? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.